Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Swagman Tail Whip Tailgate Pad on the back of our 2022 Ram 2500. A tailgate pad like this might be useful for you if you have something in your hitch already or you just don't want the added length that a hitch bike rack adds. Additionally, you can obviously always store your bikes just in the bed of your truck, but they're going to be prone to rolling around, damaging not only themselves, but also your bed. So this is a good in-between option that's going to protect your bed and keep your bike stable while you're driving. It's gonna hold on to our bike just by these hook and loop straps on the actual pad itself. So the nature of the beast with these is that pretty much regardless, there's gonna be a little bit of side to side movement and the tires and the handlebars are gonna be able to move around a little bit as well. It's gonna be pretty unavoidable with the tailgate pads, but as far as hook and loop straps go, these will keep the bike, I think, secure enough for your drive. If you get up to five bikes, like it has the capability to, having them probably make contact with each other might be tough to avoid. But as far as tailgate pads go, this one does have adjustable straps. The straps themselves are fixed length, but they are daisy chained on the pad. So you can put them in different spots. The pad itself is made of a durable tarpaulin material. It's gonna do a good job of wicking any of that weather away, as well as holding up to some of the elements like the sun. As you can see, the padding is pretty thick. It does get a little bit thin right here at the top, but as far as the fit in general goes, the, the tailgate for the 2500 does have this part that juts out at the top, and I think it still fits pretty well. As you can see, there is this flap here in the back held in by this hook and loop. So if you want to access your tailgate, obviously we still have our bike loaded up, so we can't get into it now, but your backup camera is right here as well. So to do that, you're, to use that, you're going to have to move this flap out of the way. The flap connects down at the bottom just with this buckle and it'll hold it in place so you can keep it like that and it won't go anywhere. As you can see, the inside has this nice velour material so it's not going to be scratching up your car or damaging the paint or anything like that. It is a little bit rigid so I imagine if you were to keep putting it in this position, moving it back and putting it in this position, moving it back, It'll eventually maybe start to take some of the memory and start to look a little bit weird, but I think it's gonna hold up. Folding it back down is straightforward. And as you can see, there's just this hook and loop strap strip at the bottom. You just push it in and it sticks pretty easily. It's also going to be padded enough to the point where if you do have to load bikes over it, which you're trying to load up the whole thing, you will. It'll still protect everything. And that padding on the, or the material on the back is gonna do a good job of protecting your tailgate and your backup camera. Getting the bike removed is straightforward. It's basically a two-step process, starting by removing the strap on your single point of contact on the pad, undoing the hook and loop, and just pulling it through. And then all you do is lift the bike up and away. Keeping in mind that the 2500 is a pretty tall vehicle. I'm pretty tall myself, I'm just over six foot, and it's still a little bit of a reach for me, so if you're anything shorter than that, that's something you're gonna wanna consider as well. The pad itself is held in place by these three cam buckle straps. So if we lift this flap up, we can get into our tailgate. I'll show you a little bit more about how they connect in the back. So you'll feed them through under your tailgate here. You'll have to hold it at kind of an angle, feed the straps through, and then you can just tighten them down. Just taking a broader look at the fit in general, as you can see, there are kind of these areas where it sticks out a little bit because this center strap is a little tighter than the other two probably. That's something that's also going to be a little bit tough to avoid, and it's something you're probably not even going to notice if you get more than two or three bikes on here. But that is something that's going to happen, so look out for that. But as a look at how the Swagman Tail Whip tailgate pad performs and fits on the Ram 2500 in general, I think it's a really solid fit for a 2500 there aren't a ton of tailgate pads that are going to fit that well. And this one does have the ability for you to adjust where your bikes go a little bit, which is also something pretty unique to this tailgate pad. I think if you want to consider a different way to hold your bikes, maybe look into something like the Yakima Full Tilt. It's gonna be a hitch bike rack, it's gonna be hanging style, but it's gonna hold your bikes a little bit more securely, keeping in mind that it does add quite a bit of distance to the back of your vehicle. It does tilt, so you still have some tailgate access, but that's just something you might want to consider. In general though, I think that the Swagman Tail Whip does a really good job and it's a really solid fit overall on the 2022 Ram 2500.